Well, good morning from your COVID chaplain and welcome to Sunday. I trust you've enjoyed this last week and so I've had the surprise of my new setting and that you've gone through surprise week. Surprising other people, hopefully, uh, being surprised yourself and finding these different thoughts that we've worked on during the week speak to you and prepare you for the life that God wants you to live. So we've come to Sunday, a day to worship the Lord, a day to re relax, a, a day to to um, just get ourselves geared up for the week that's coming ahead. But it's interesting as we think about it being a sun day, <laughs> the sun may not even be shining wherever you are in your day. Um, it might be one of those miserable kind of days, cloudy and rainy or snowing for all I know. But as we think about a day that's got the word sun in it, it makes me think of a verse in the Bible that God makes his sun, the sun, to rise on the evil and on the just. And the point of that is that God is actually remarkably fair. He's remarkably unprejudiced. God can actually care about and bless the sort of people you and I might walk past or avoid completely. Uh, God is, is ready to be gracious to people right around the planet in all kinds of situations, young and old, uh, nice people and nasty people, he'll still let his sun rise on each of them. He'll cause the rain to fall on their crops, even if they are evil people, even if their crop is, is, is a drug crop that's going to be used to damage other people's lives. God has this wonderful sense of being able to relate to people that you and I would choose not to. So as we come to the very maybe the last thought of the surprise week we've thought about, I want you to think about people in your world that you would have pushed off to the periphery, you know, the icky people, the ones that you don't particularly uh, like in your world. It may be if you were controlling the sun, you wouldn't let the sun shine on their house or on their children playing in the playground. You know, they're just, uh, they're the, the people that are not your favorite kind of people. And to recognize that God cares about them and God would be gracious to them. God would take them a surprise. God would put them first. Like we've talked about during the week, a number of these different themes and thoughts that you might remember. God is able to be amazingly generous. Guess what? He's amazingly generous to you and you don't always deserve that, do you? And so today, you're gonna to worship the Lord, you're gonna relax, hopefully spend time with the family, hopefully maybe call some friends, do a number of things that are that are nice things to do. But I want you in this day to allow God to sort of tap you on the shoulder and remind you about some people that you wouldn't call, mm, that you wouldn't want to visit, that you, you really wouldn't want in your circle. And think about the sun rising on them. Think about God causing his sun to rise on them and ask yourself, can I bless them? We've talked about others first, but now as we think about actually blessing, blessing the, um, the, the unwanted, the, the, the unnice people, the people you would otherwise leave out. And so today, let's just call it Sunrise Day, okay? Because God is going to let his sun rise on the evil and on the just. Can you let your sun, your blessing, your presence, your person, your grace, rise and shine on people that you would otherwise maybe have not wanted to see blessed, people that you would have left out. Can you today actually care about the people who you would have otherwise blacklisted? Can you maybe pray for them? But maybe they might even be people that you can bless. You can actually call and contact. You can build a bridge to those people. So today, enjoy your Sunday. I don't want to spoil it for you. Hey, I'm not going to do that. Enjoy your day. Worship the Lord today. Go online and see some great church services from anywhere around the world. Just enjoy worshiping God. But at the same time, recognize that God is bigger than you are and he's calling you to be like your heavenly father because he lets his sun rise on the evil and on the just. And let your sun, your smile, your thoughtfulness, your surprises, your care for others, Rise on those people who would not have been on your list. 
Oh, don't let it spoil your day. I hate to think that, that you're going to say, oh, I hate Pastor Chris, he's always got these terrible ideas. Uh, but you see, this is the sort of stuff that's going to make you. This is the stuff that's going to do something inside you that'll make you a different kind of person and a blessing that other people really cherish. So rise to the challenge today. Let the sun rise, your sun rise and shine a blessing on people you might otherwise have excluded. Include them today, hey? Because it's sunrise day. Um, well, look, think of something happier to talk about in the coming week. Meanwhile, God bless you.